So this is the head girl Faith and she's bouncing a ball. This is what they call tennis. So she's got some tricks that she may show us. It's just lunch hour. So what we're gonna do, look at that, pretty impressive. We're now gonna walk to what is the playground area. There's actually a football area down in the valley side which we're going to play after lunch. So moving along, there is construction in progress. You can see the kids, they love to play this game where they take each other's arms and try and walk. I think it's a Ugandan version of the monkeys. So they, they, they do something called flowers. Show us some flowers. Shh. Okay, so we're moving towards. I will end up having more and more. These kids are going to multiply, showing us flowers all the way. And remember, kids, the camera only works when you smile. <laughs> okay, so we're moving all the way up it's actually quite difficult to move because what you can't see is all the kids are on my feet we have uh, piped water to the project from lake bunyoni it's treated and you actually have to pay for it so that's a luxury item in the village but as we are progressing as we are progressing on the project with pig breeding and better yields certain families have been able to pipe water to their properties would you like me to do flowers do flowers so, so you can see they're lovely kids very well behaved very nice natured and we have the staff room so soon there will be lunch. They're just waiting. This is the headmaster's office. It usually is more tidy, but we have got some books and we're going to create a library and the young kids, the learning by play that we have in the UK or US, or Australia or mainland Europe. We're going to try and introduce more of that. We have uh, a volunteer who's here for the period of a year. Would you like to say hello? Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Great, so we are now going to our purpose-built kitchen. There's Maureen, one of the primary school teachers. She teaches our baby class. That is the lowest class. We have three nursery classes, which gives the children a great base to get an effective primary school education. So here this is the preparation area. You can see that they're washing the drying area. And this is the cooking area, maybe a bit dark. Some lettuce. And the kids will be lining up. Today it looks like it's potatoes. The facility that we've built, which was built about two years ago, 2011, we have an oven which is more sustainable in and it burns less wood and it also funnels most of the smoke out the top of the structure meaning it's a better work environment for the cooks. We have two cooks at the school at present, and as the numbers grow, I'm sure there will be more. So, there's an orderly queue. I'm also eating. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the big plate of potatoes. The food here is fantastic. Very tasty, very natural, it's all organic. 
and when you taste a potato or tomato or beans they really blow your taste buds away so I'm now moving away they will have all washed their hands before coming to eat as part of the hygiene program we've got a little boy crying here so that might happen anywhere in the world so thank you for tuning in we are now going to get on with lunch would you like to say bye bye kali kali